Well, in the new world order, now that our, our competition is evolving to be Google and AOL and Yahoo, you know, we need to understand our customers better and we need to ask questions of it. So the desire to pull all this data together from across the business units, across the functions, continued to grow. So again, virtualization became a very cost-effective way to do that. And as Martin mentioned in, in his discussion, it's, it's rapid. It, we can do things quickly and we can pull it together quickly. In, you know, they need the data, they need it fast, they don't want to wait to go through the IT organization and the requisition process to, to have their priorities evaluated against everybody else's priorities. It accelerates the process of creating a learning organization about your data. We are building awareness around the organization about our data. It's no longer st sitting in a silo. You know, some analyst isn't just working with what they got. Uh, you know, our federation layer and that engine is a part of a bigger whole. And absolutely, we use it with our data warehouse. We have accelerated the identification of quality issues by exposing the data more quickly and frankly, through a less rigorous process. That's the objective. So for the end user, their access to the data doesn't change. It's invisible to them that we've now remapped on the back end. Again, the beauty of virtualization. And so in a matter of a, a couple, 10 days with one FTE, you know, we pulled together this uh, collection of data and reporting. Before we did this, the analysts were literally getting file extracts in multiple ways, um, text file, some in spreadsheet, some in tab delimited versus common delimited. They'd have to piece it all together and they spent hours, if not days, just piecing the data together. Before, and from internal perspective, it helped increase revenue because when you go to our web pages, we have ads and ad revenue uh, you know, comes to the company every time you view those ads. Um, so that was in four days, you know, again, one person, after mapping out the architecture, connected to these sources, pulled the data together, and we created an operational portal. In near real time, we can be, we can be identifying issues in the architecture before the customers even call. So, but the fact that it was always around 30 to 40 percent, and then the measure jumped to 50 to 60 percent, was, was remarkable. We saw that bump in branding increase. In other words, there wasn't more people causing it. It was the same number of people, but our success rate went up. And since then, it has stayed in that 93 range. And again, a couple percentage points is a big deal. So what happened? They took this three-month trial, and they went national. So it is now part of our operations. And when I mentioned earlier about we go from agile into how do we transition into operations, this is the perfect example of it. Because that on we're going to continue aggregating new sources. You know, this is something I very much believe in. And I believe in the value of, of the network of that data. The more data we add, the more valuable it gets, because the more connections we can make, and the more opportunity really smart people have to dive into that data from different angles. So what we've developed, and Composite's been a great partner in this, um, we've developed a browser-based catalog interface that would allow any user in our organization to browse what data is available. Now, they're not going to write queries through that interface, but they can preview the data. They can see the data elements are in there. They can see the data lineage. So what source system did that come from? Uh, and then they can preview the data. I'm, I'm very excited about this. I think it's going to be a, a huge value to the organization. And again, more promotion of that knowledge-oriented culture that we really want to have. Make people smarter about the data that's available, that's out there, so that they can be better at their jobs and drive value at Comcast. That's what we want to do ultimately with virtualization.